more Starfield, more Starfield, more Starfield. Level 26. So we've been spending some time uh, in a neon neon city, which uh, I believe is in the uh, Volti is it Volta 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 system. Okay, so I want to do this faction quest line, seeing as we're here now. Uh, the joining the Ryun. Uh, right, uh, yeah, Ryan, Ryan Industries, Ryan Industries, Ryan Industries, probably the right pronunciation, I guess. Uh, attend your interview at the Ryan Tower. Yeah, this uh, security uh, armor they've got here in Neon, I like it, that's cool. What, um, wonder if we can get it at the, uh, the vendors. I don't know what's wrong with me, but Neon might be my favorite place to visit. Okay, that's how you say it. Rujan Industries. Okay. Mover is saying Ryan Industries. <laughs> Rujan Industries. Sorry. Mistake on my. You must be one of the candidates that Imogen no. Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. It's, uh, it's crazy how similar this place looks like to one of the... Um, you can towers just feel that, that you go up to in, a, in cyberpunk. Right. Ugh. What's one of the places, the towers? Uh, Kompeki Plaza? I think Kompeki Plaza is one of those towers in cyberpunk which looks exactly like this place. Well, n not exactly, but similar, if you know what I mean. Make it quick. I have a deadline. I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. <clears throat> Remember, firm handshake. My dad always insisted. 
All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Uh, neuro amps are revolutionary. I want to be a part of what's next. It's good to see you're familiar with and appreciate our work here. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. My track and yes, record. of course we know you have one. Yuko's algorithm at least hasn't failed us there. Your past is not a concern, for now. Just know that we have ways of keeping an eye on you around here. How motivated are you to succeed? I'll go above and beyond to get a job done. Uh, it depends on what I'm working towards. Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive <clears throat> level position. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Research and development, I want to play a part in the future of technology. Well, you've certainly come to the right place for that. Considering your education, I'm sure you could reasonably find a place in that department. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First Three order, months probation there's a period. meeting starting soon and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. <clears throat> okay. Well, I, I took that picture. Uh, see if it could be a good uh, YouTube thumbnail. We'll see. Maybe we'll just find something else. Maybe the logo of this company. I got my eye on you. Oh, security. Wandering to any restricted areas. It's a pretty fancy place around here. I'm a little busy right now. Operative. Imaging and you operative. can run a tight ship around here. Okay, so they call the employees operatives. Ah. 
I got the memo from Imogene to add you to the system. So it sounds like congratulations are in order. You must have really nailed that interview. <laughs> Oh, yes, get used <coughs> to seeing this handsome face every day. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to the dysfunctional family. So he's called Raijun Industries. Just want to make sure I got that right. Uh, what do we need to do? Okay, pick up a coffee. Not the uh, not the most interesting mission or quest to do in this game. But let's let's see what happens while we're doing uh, the uh, quest line for Raijun Industries because it, it comes up as a faction. Uh, let me see. Missions. Yeah, when you click factions, there it is. So who knows? Maybe some interesting missions will come up while doing this. Is it Narnia? Hello, and welcome to Terrible. Oh, the Ryujin Order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Oh, we replaced Tomo? this guy. I'm then. sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Send him out. Believe me. Whoa, he's got his gun out. Okay, so there's something attached to this shitty job. There's something about this corporation. No one's terminating anyone. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail. <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. You can't be that good. Not yet. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. leverage. Oh. Just don't make me regret this. This corporation's dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. We've just signed up to join a dodgy corporation. Because he was working there for four years. Now they've fired him. And he's saying that they will possibly send me to go after him. So it's like not only do they fire people, it's like they bury them, get rid of them. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. So, 
we've already got a good idea what the Raijun Industries is like. Pretty dodgy. Oh, here's the man. Tomo. Not as dangerous, but man, can it be a lot of fun. I'd hate to be on Miss Olzo's bad side. That coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Okay, right. It was your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. attention. And we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Only just yeah, I get the feeling feel. she would have been even happier if you did off Tomo. Typical Ryujin snake. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Uh, how am I supposed to ensure Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary. You're basically uh, so removing obstacles from the equation. We so we came in applying for a uh, admin role, and uh, we've now ended up getting a job as like their own and their own personal fog. So th basically, they just want us to beat up some people, intimidate some people, potentially kill them. Really? really? Well, well this, transition this transition may be easier, easier than, than I thought. Now, let's get let's that get coffee, that coffee delivered. delivered. I'll gladly I'll take mine. <clears throat> and since and Yuko's still a no-show, no -show, feel free to keep hers. The other, the other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Meet Camden Cho, meet Alexis Price. Okay, all right. Ah, oh, just ended up running around in a circle. Do you have time to talk? It's about that special coffee. Uh, I'm gonna take this seat over it.
So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Ah, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Come by whenever. I'm always happy to chat. Just walking around here in my striker gang outfit. I come the boss. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Let's hope your best is good enough. Ah, coffee. Oh, you think they weren't, support they weren't lying city about and get tranquility there more being often. more dialogue but in Terra this Brew game is. compared to Fallout and Skyrim. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we Almost fully intend like to develop the tranquility the brand. Thing that I'm doing right now, Current projections right now are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. T-Talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Chief Officer. Financial. I'll be the I'll one be deducting, the one deducting expenses, expenses from your pay every time you time. manage to screw up. Which hopefully won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. <laughs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? <laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in... But rest assured... Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad. Of course, you'll be just keep an open mind. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We've reason to believe that our friends at Kelcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. <sighs> Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Kelcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, 
It should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Oh, is this gonna be a stealthy mission? This might be a stealthy one. I haven't, I haven't been too good on uh, the uh, sneaking around on this game. I did a lot better Don't job when I was playing a Skyrim. Oh, am I going the right way? No, no, this is definitely not the way. the way out of this place? How have I just got lost? Coraland here. Selt Corp. Is that a? Has it got the green for the logo? Uh, that looks a bit like a deer. Might be a deer. Huh? Welcome to Kelp Corp. I'm glad I ended up at Kelp Corp. Miss McKenna treats her employees like family. Oh, okay, so. Looks like we can just walk straight in. Ah, oh, but they've got security. Damn. Hamsa kept pestering me about this damn missing slate. Like security's got time to here. track something like that down. Non-stop interruption since this morning, and I'm not spending another break in my desk. Talk to Hamza. Alright, oh, is she just gonna keep walking past? More like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to tear him right now. I'll go with you. We can so, an extra for Chloe if she asks. I've somehow got to unlock this computer without getting caught. Why does it say I'm detected? How am I detected? No one's looking at me. Okay, cool, cool. No one saw, no one saw me do that. So, we can just walk out like nothing happened. <coughs> oh. 
I wonder if, uh, well, I think in the faction missions uh, the, and the main missions, those, those are definitely different. But there are some things in this game that do seem to be uh, repetitive. I think like when you when you go to the moons, they always seem to end up giving you like the, the same activity or side mission to do. But it's all right. I think I think this place is probably my um, my favorite city out of all of them. I would say neon. Um, then I'd say Aquila is probably my second favourite. Uh, Sidonia. I don't, wouldn't say New Atlantis is my favourite. Look out for gangs. Actually, the gangs should look out for us. Yes, they should look out for us. This report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for details. That's what I was afraid of. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know what you mean, but that you're missing... Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. <clears throat> Payoffs... Cover stories, clean up crews, you get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. <clears throat> I'm sure you understand. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, training. <clears throat> Framing? What is this job? One of our <clears throat> subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. Oh. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. <coughs> Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. <coughs> uh, you know... The Raijun Industries faction is starting to remind me of, um, starting to remind me of the Thieves Guild, where they just keep giving you missions uh, where you've got to be stealthy, pick lock. Because the mission that we just done, she gave us Digipix, and we had to hack that computer without getting caught. Uh, now we've got to do something similar in a uh, Aquila city. So it seems like with with this faction um, and this uh, storyline, there'll be a lot of uh, sneaking sneaking about. Need to head to Aquila city so I can plant confidential files in. Larado firearms to expose their own corruption and for what a deal. Ideally I need to do this without getting caught. So Kilo City is on yeah, okay. Alright. Back to where the uh, the freestyle ranges are at. Pfft. <laughs> 
This, this would be, this would be a place that you would see in a, in a Fallout game. It, this would be a perfect city to have in, in Fallout. I heard Mr. Wright's gonna be looking for an apprentice soon. It's probably what they were going for. I think each major city that they've got in this game has uh, some inspiration from other games. It's like this. Aquila City definitely inspired by Fallout. Neon looks like it's inspired by a uh, cyberpunk. Um, well, I, you know, could be wrong. I'm just guessing, but kind of looks like it for me. Might want to steer clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much worse. You see, can't be that bad, can it? gonna let me save the game first before I end up making a mistake Nothing inside the chest, what the heck? Oh, confidential files. If you need help, the miscellaneous is just downstairs. 
Okay, so we managed to get that done without getting caught. Oh, I've never, I've never been this way before. Oh, right, cool. Got their little, little, uh, well, not little, own gun range. Choose in practice. So these two, these two s stealth missions that we've been doing, oh, these, these uh, thief, thief missions, I'll call them thief missions, been very easy to do actually. I'm surprised that we didn't get caught nothing, but maybe maybe it gets harder. Right, the next missions to do. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Uh, I'm ready for whatever's next. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Uh, I haven't got any skill points. I, I need. I bet I'm gonna need the um, pickpocket skill for this. Yeah, so this faction is definitely um, exactly like the Thieves Guild. Just every mission just gonna be like steal this, steal that, pickpocket, sneak into this, do this. So maybe maybe the Raijun Industries faction is probably and maybe it's not one of the most exciting quest lines. I mean there hasn't been any action at all. I think, I, think, uh, I think that's what I just want more from Starfield. More action, more shooting. So, 
don't think the Raijun Industries faction is my favourite. I think if anyone likes doing stealthy stuff, then they might like this, but... <clears throat> they're, they're, they're not going to be, like, blown away by this questline. But we'll see. We've only done... Three, three missions, so... See if it see if it gets better. Travel to Hope Deck. Nothing was here until Ron Hope. Hope Tech. Oh yeah, we've been here. We've been here before. I don't want to hear any complaints. Ron the Hope's three the Star Rangers. Secure's here. Keep an eye on your valuables. Yes? We'd be dust except for the factory. the security key card uh, I'm up here wear a suit or security guard you Okay, yeah, that will do. Whoa. Off-worlders. Nothing ever good comes from them. Security's got shotguns. Ron Hope knows his stuff. Factory. Uh, I haven't got the pickpocket skill, so I don't. I don't know why. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Sure you belong here? Something I can do for you? I hate, I hate to, disappoint to disappoint you, but I'm not I'm big not on big doing favors, favors for people, for people I don't know. know. 
I'm not sure what kind of emergency would require me to hand over a security key card to a citizen. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. <clears throat> uh, I think this might be the first person that we end up killing right now. Uh, give me what I want or you'll never get rid of me. Oh, I don't know which... What, what's, what's the best thing to do here? Give me what I want or you'll never get rid of me. Come on, I wouldn't joke about a situation like this. Just because you look like an authority figure doesn't mean you are one. What did I do to deserve this? Maybe I can make an exception. Fine. Oh, the yes, you did it. Just remember to bring okay. it back or I'm that was... reporting you. That was lucky. That was lucky. Because uh, I haven't unlocked the uh, pickpocket skill, so... I knew it was like we'd, e we'd even have to kill him or persuade him. <laughs> the only two, only two options I had. There, got that key card for me? Uh, I do. Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Good. It's time for a change of pace. <laughs> this next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Easy to be discreet at the lounge. Everybody's too busy indulging their vices. Uh, all I need the are the details. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs <laughs> failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Okay. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Uh, read the dossiers so I'll say all the right things. Got it. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. 
We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. All we need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any enough. SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. Influence Arthur Cruz, influence Sola. Okay. Uh, all right, before we do this, I just need to go to the, uh, the bathroom. Oh, little loo break. Oh wait, let me have a look at this new suit. Fitted business suit, that looks cool. Got uh, loads of new uh, outfits now being here at Neon. Ended up getting an outfit from the Striker Gang. Got uh, two from the Disciples Gang. 
Um, and then I've got that crime boss, that syndicate, uh, syndicate crime boss suit. Got the corpo one, and now we've got this uh, fancy, fancy suit. But the, uh, the, strike, the striker one's the coolest one out, out of all of them. It's almost like the kind of outfit that you would uh, be wearing if you were playing Cyberpunk. You Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere. Lounge. Got all these neon lights in it. Okay, uh... Booth 1. Oh, this is cool. I get their own... Their own room. All these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> and especially a solve for business meetings. You want to impress a client? The Astral Lounge is the place to do it. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? <clears throat> Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. Uh, they are... One investigation away from a massive lawsuit. They um, their books aren't legit. They struggle. Let's do this one. Uh, hearing that is like nails on a chalkboard <laughs> for someone in my position. But I'm guessing you know that. You definitely have my attention. Compared to Ryujin, I can see how that looks bad. But when compared against standard competitors, that's almost an expectation. You know the old adage, you've got to spend money to make money. You wouldn't want the legal risk that is Infinity LTD. Uh, oh, this is difficult. To be honest, that was my biggest initial concern. Companies live and die by their legal teams and public perception. For some, it's just as important as quality. The argument is that we could shoulder that load. But is it something we really should take on? Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Okay, cool. That worked out. Read the... Uh, read the dossers. Read the dossers, read the dossers. Where's the dossers? Uh, Zola. 
Personality, narcissist, obsessive public perception, appreciated for professionalism in manner and appearances, drawn toward innovation, enjoys being part of something new, quality is key, strong dislike to be associated with anything else. Talking points. Infinity LTD is a cheap version of Ryun Industries. Infinity is a follower, not a leader. Lacks clear vision. Okay, right. So, let me save before I end up making a mistake. came dressed to impress here on business or just out to escape <clears throat> ah same here nothing like a business trip paid in full especially when there is good downtime <sighs> Someone's sure out to impress you if you are at the Astral Lounge. Uh, you must have business with Raijun. Let's do the second option. That would be Infinity LTD. Deal with Infinity LTD, that sounds risky. Risky, you say? By all means, enlighten me. <clears throat> Uh, Infinity LTD is a cheap version of Ryun Industries. LTD cuts corners and still can't match Ryun's profits. Uh, it's a strong brand. Cheap version. Cheap is a word quantum, quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed, I believed our, our team, team had thoroughly research, research Infinity. But your comment gives me gives pause. Me pause. Infinity lacks clear vision with constant reorganization. Their instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old say say, <coughs> never judge never a book judge a by its cover, its cover is appropriate <coughs> here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Switch Nina Hart's presentation. Another day, another ship.
Okay, right. Managed to do all of that perfectly. I like these VIP booths. These are cool. I'd love to go to a place like this. You know, a proper like cyberpunk night city club. Fast, my guy can run. Not sure if those were ruined zealots for this space. Oh, we're gonna make it before the oxygen. Uh, no, Not almost, almost, almost made it without the oxygen running out. I mean, your, your character can run fast, uh, but the, uh, the stamina still doesn't last too long. You, you definitely move quicker when you're on a moon and you've got a boost pack. <laughs> some good news for me well that wasn't too bad was it you're a natural and I'm not just saying that because I hired you the Astral lounge can be overwhelming for some with all its bells and whistles tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss most junior level ops would start to show their cracks overall not bad for your first high-profile assignment you even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. We made it look easy. That's because of the skills. The skills. It's well deserved. <laughs> Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Uh, oh, was that 10,000 credits? Very nice. Your next, next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. I'm ready for the details. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon.
Uh, back at Hope Tech again. Are they going to keep yes. sending us here? Keep, I'll keep the uh, the suits on. Make it uh, easy to get through. I don't want to hear any complaints. Plants the arc device. Okay. We uh, definitely don't want to get caught by the robots. over there I'm going I think I'm going the wrong way yeah. If I can climb up, nah. do we get over to this ship? Oh, I see, I see. I must have missed something. I bet it was like the most simple thing ever. Or if I just ended up heading in the, uh, the wrong direction. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I just uh, I just completely ended up going the wrong way. managed to do that without that um, security card soon. I didn't even notice they were stood there. to wear your helmet. Stop wearing a helmet. Hey there. Got an update for me? I planted the arc device. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Linden. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. <laughs> And those ships cost like 400,000 credits. You earned it. So, back to business. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Uh, I'm ready for the details. Good. Luckily, there aren't many besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught and don't make a mess. Okay, no problem. Uh, this, oh, okay, this is a new place. I have not been here. Uh, Trident Luxury Line S Star Yard. Okay. So it's in the Aquila system, but it's uh, well, it's above above the planet. There it is over there. Hey, Dad. Scan 
Go ahead and land. It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku? That sounds exciting, too. I, I okay. added um, it's called more space. engines to my uh, my ship, so it's been pretty easy to fast travel Starships around the whole place. Like Tried and starting. Level 50, shit, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is orbiting the Aquila planet. Cheap, but underneath all that gold inlay, there's make damn good ships. They do. Uh, let me see how much credits we got. Four hundred thirty-two thousand, which isn't really enough, depending on. Well, you just see how much the ships cost in this game, because it was like. One ship for 400,000. Then there's another one for 600,000, I think. So even if I've got 432,000 credits, it's not really much. Is well, if you buy, if I buy a ship with hey, what I've got now, tried it. It will just take me back to zero. Me get one of them let them eat cake ships. be as easy as I thought to lock pick this one especially with that guy just standing there yeah <laughs> I need him Rest to move that every inch oh, of a trident her. luxury Ooh. ship was reviewed I, by I was myself. looking I was looking behind sorry and my trusty staff of course Gladys coffin you do it here Philippe didn't say I should be expecting someone this is the very heart of Trident, and we don't need strays. Oh, and it tells jokes, too. <sighs> well, it. I suppose since you're here, enjoy being in the presence of greatness. It's here that I, well, Create the next generation of Trident starships. Oh, yes, I am. I am Gladys Coffin, Chief Architect of Trident. If you have any other questions, make it fast. Yes, yes, goodbye. Uh, okay, how are we going to do this? We maybe got got her to move from there. Okay, let's try and do this. Hopefully it works. Seriously handy with those locks.
I'm kind of glad that uh, this lock picking is security level novice. Make things easier. Oh no, this isn't good. Type schematic. Okay. But if I've got something stolen, how am I going to get it back to um, Imogen? Okay, I uh, I think they're gonna scan my ship and say that I've got some s stolen goods. All right, you're good. Oh no. Okay. Welcome to Neon. I'm strange. I'm sure. I'm sure I've taken some stolen goods before, and they've scanned the ship and found out. Maybe, maybe if it's to do to do with a mission or a quest. You can uh, get away with it. Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. Med packs. Mobilize. Wait a second. What do they keep giving me? Immobilize. Rigged supports injured limbs. Okay. first glitch we just fell down the elevator what the heck is going on what I 
elevator is going to come down, what's going to happen? Oh my gosh. I think I, think I saw someone mention about this that you just... Sometimes the game glitches out and then you fall... You fall down below. Or uh, below the map. Really can't get out of this elevator. What the hell? Uh, I think. I think the only way out is we're gonna have to try and like fast travel back again. Yeah, it's the only way I could think of. Just fast travel to get out of the stuck in the elevator. Now we've got to run all the way back there. Keep moving. Scanners won't hurt you. Oh, well, that was weird. Wasn't expecting a, a bug glitch like uh, like that to happen. gonna save it just in case that happens again. Such a good view of all the little people Ryujin wants to crush under their corporate heels. I've been waiting here for ages. There's the stairs uh, up here. Was the single most stressful experience of my life. The Eugen CEO. Can I help you? Oh, I was just going to go straight there. Name and appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's <laughs> ready now. God, Ularu. Is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv. Because you're too good at your job. No. We can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine. But you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Alright, let's go in. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Good. You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. <clears throat> it's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. 
He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Only? Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. She's making it seem as if Some she was hiring operators, or operators demanding. all the time. So you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Good. Because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Oh, <laughs> you'll get the information if you want to hang on to your job. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? You see, this is why I could never be a spy. Razor Derby is just terrible. I could never say that. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. <clears throat> you spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Travel to Sidonia on Mars and the Soul System. Okay. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Okay, uh, so you're just saying I hope my ship has enough fuel because the solar system's not too close. Well, it's far, far away, but... I bet Cora's already finished the pre flight checklist. That's my girl. Missing someone. Hey, next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. Yeah, that's strange. Where's uh, the other companion that we had? Hella. Lynn. Welcome back. We've got a companion. Has completely disappeared with the hell. This is so cool. Yeah, that was weird. Very weird. They definitely, did de definitely had another companion on that ship. Uh, the Hella guy. He's not there anymore, that's weird. 
Is that the technician? Ship technician? Yes, it is. Relax. Your ride is safe with us. Hey there. We'll take good care of your ship. Have a good one. I worry. Have a good one. I worry. Your ship's in good hands. Relax. You're hey ready to safe with us. Oh, which one do I talk to to uh, get my ship fueled up? Back to Sidonia. I think I might give him uh, Won't lie. My heart stopped for a beat when you pass out. Pack. Share the wealth, right? I'll give him this one. Beeping noises for. Many places older than Aquila. This old stories, old planet. Oh yeah, this is the first time coming to Sidonia with uh, Sam. Can't wait to get out of this place, Simon. You lost, or just come to ask an out of work miner how his day's going. Ugh. Only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Razor Derby is the only real sport. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. 
It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. Rather, Ryujin is stiffing us with their expenses, or Laughing Boy over here has an overvalued sense of importance. Uh, 10,000 credits. Uh, let's try this way. this little tidbit. <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Uh, sure we can work something out. Sorry, but... Oh. I can't. Okay, I knew we should have done the second option. I like the way you think. Perhaps. All right, I'll lower okay, the price. That works. But that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. Uh, I'll pay the credits. Then. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep. That I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Got it. That's all I Nice mean. doing business with you. Listen to the audio file. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on it. Where oh wait, read Stanley. Uh where's Stanley, Stanley, Stanley? Stanley McMillan leaves locks condos for work at Damos Star Yards. Lease a large returns to work. Lease for work returns to locked condos. Retrieve the Project Dominion files. Is on this game. 4:44 local time. The ship. Lord, I thought you were assisting me. We must have hit you with the lesson last time. Can I help you with something? Oh, in that case, go right ahead. I wouldn't want to be causing any sort of security breach. <laughs> Uh, how long is this gonna take? Uh, if you have any errands to run, now's a good time. Uh, might take 15 minutes or so, depending on what I find. Great. I could use the break. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Easy peasy.
Oh, I don't know why this is turning out to be the worst one to do right now. Same same security level as before, but struggling for this one. Whatever you're doing, well, looks impressive. Well, yeah. we've done it. We've done it. Hmm. His future might be riding on this deal. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <clears throat> Project Dominion? Uh -uh. That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key, deciphering, and done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Oh, so someone's been stealing from the uh, Raijun Industries. 
or maybe there's uh, maybe it was a inside job don't cause any trouble Masaku. So is the the big boss? Hey, um, Ularu, what is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news: Infinity Ltd has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. <laughs> of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, <laughs> I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within yeah, our corporation. inside job. Someone's working with them. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. I think a thousand credits. Level 27. Nice. Cut the crap, Dalton. I'm sending an operative your way, along with some files, to your computer. I'll be ready. Not for this one, but I trust you'll get it done. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Off to meet the uh, head of security. <laughs> 